Dr. Avakola is the Senior Counsel of the Human Rights Law Service and is currently a member of the Presidential Task Force on Petroleum Revenue Management. There was a movie I recently watched. I didn't know, actually it was back to back. The first was on Mandela. The second was on Winnie. I had mixed feelings about Winnie Mandela. But after watching that movie, I said, this woman can stand shoulder to shoulder with Nelson Mandela. Because what this political handles do is to get the leadership, put them in prison, as you all know, on Robben Island. So suddenly the anti, the struggle against apartheid died. And when that struggle died, it was only Willie Mandela who continued the struggle. She was put in solitary confinement for a year. They, they, in fact, they broke her, but she refused to bend. To the point where she became known as mother of the nation. And through her resilience, which we need to have, and not facility, the struggle in South Africa succeeded. So whether we're 160 million, or 80 million, or whatever, are we not ashamed that less than what? Maybe Governor Peter, we can help you here. I don't know how many people in politics. Can I say 2,000, 2,000? About that? About that? How can 2,000 people dominate 180 million? How, how is it possible? You know why? The answer? Do you know the answer? Because you are all docile. That is the answer. If we say, now, all right, we are going to have a demonstration tomorrow against a particular issue. How many people will come? How many will show? It's important to be active and informed. So back to this constitution. It contains, how do you know the constitution governs your life? Governs your secular life. Like the Bible governs your spiritual and religious life. Now I'm sure most of us have come the Bible. Whether we believe it is a different question. I will leave to the uh, Shabuka to answer. <laughs> but why is it that your secular life is devoid with due respect of knowledge? What does section four of the question say? Anybody? Anybody? I will, I will pay anyone who can answer a hundred naira. Section 4 of the Constitution is a contraption that tracks power in the hands of the National Assembly in two ways. There are three arms of government and three levels of government. So you have the judiciary, legislature, and executive, federal, state, and local government. Section 4 of our Constitution allows the National Assembly to perform two functions at the same time. They are the legislature to the federal to the federal government. They are also the legislature to Nigeria. That means they can actually make law in respect of any matter whatsoever. And that I think is very dangerous. The second problem is that the federal government in the Constitution is given 68 items of power to the exclusion of the states. It's no wonder that the states depend on the federal government for handouts because they've been so disempowered. 
the remaining parts of power spelled out in the constitution is covered in what is called the concurrent legislative list. Another problem. If the federal government decides to exercise power under that second list, the state governments are excluded. The result is we have a unified, centrifugal, strong center. That's why people came to the Nigerian president. Because to become Nigerian president is to have the type of power that no, one, no, no president in the world has. The Nigerian president is the most powerful political leader in the world. 